Salutations, morals, and children of the night. I'm the Vampire Otaku, and welcome to my channel. So we are coming to the end of May. This is my birthday month. So being my birthday month, I decided that I am going to read only vampire mangas. And this month I was working a lot, a lot of overtime, a lot of 60 hour weeks. I really wanted to purchase a lot of anime figures and a lot of fun otaku things. And I got a lot of things that I really, really wanted. A lot of um, great scale figures. And eventually in the near future, I'll show you the figures that I've purchased and the details of those figures and how happy I am with them. But for this video, let's talk about all the great things that I read with my short allied amount of time. So starting off, I read Bloody Sweet which is a manhwa about vampires. I just love how both of the covers connect to make one image. Since the covers connected, I initially thought that this manhwa was only gonna be two volumes. And when I first read it, the pacing was a little slow and there was a lot of exposition. And I was wondering, can they wrap this up in two volumes? In the first volume, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't very exciting. It wasn't that fun to read, but as I kept reading it, it got better and better and better. And by the time I got to the second volume, I was invested. I was like, what's gonna happen to our main character? Is she gonna keep getting bullied? Is she gonna retaliate and hurt people? Is the vampire in the story? Is he gonna help her out? Is he gonna hurt people for her? What's their connection? Like, I just had so many questions. And towards the end of volume two, all those questions got answered and it was pretty much wrapping up. And then new characters were introduced and new questions were formed for me. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this definitely ain't the end. But it was, a, it was a pleasant surprise because it keeps getting better and better. Like the character development. It's like the creator was writing the story and improving in their writing skills as the story progressed, which is, it was really refreshing. And I recommend Bloody Sweet if you don't have a lot of manhwas or you want to try manhwa for the first time. I think it's a really good start, or if you want to read about vampires, it's a pretty good vampire story as well. Um, the trigger warnings are basically just bullying, but the bullying is not too bad, but nevertheless, still a trigger warning. The next manga, Bloodblade. I really didn't like this manga. I have a few gripes with it. The art was just, uh, like there were some parts that were really nice, but it seemed like it was just copied and pasted. But my biggest issue with this manga is the fact that this is supposed to be Dracula. Got reincarnated as like a, a young girl. That's fine, that's actually a pretty cool concept. But what I don't like is the fact that this character always looks in this angle, in this way. The hair falls to the side and I just get tired of seeing the same image over and over. It's like the manga cook couldn't draw any other angles and it was really frustrating and annoying to read. And then on top of that, the dialogue was really basic and just not believable. It's like nothing Vlad would ever say. Um, this manga really didn't have any redeeming qualities and I'm probably going to sell it or just give it away because I just didn't have a good experience with it. I'm trying to curate a vampire library, but I don't want things in my vampire library that don't bring me joy or make me feel 
good when I'm reading or make me feel scared or oh, I read this and I felt numb. Like I just, I couldn't wait to finish it so I could just never like read it again. Like it was not a good time. And I'm actually currently reading something right now, but I'm not gonna put it in the list because I didn't finish the volume, I only finished like the first chapter. But I will talk about Vampires. Vampires is a vampire manga and it's about, uh, I guess you can call it a lesbian relationship, but they're like not officially together. But for the sake of a video, I guess you can call it a Yuri, a girl's love. Um, the art is absolutely fantastic. The first volume is kind of serious. It's still written well. I still had a good time reading it, but volume two just went in a totally different direction that I wasn't expecting. It's was really funny. like. The character right here with the blonde hair, she's a vampire. You could definitely tell here how she's exposing her teeth and the other girl has bite marks on her neck. <laughs> By volume three though, like everything really changes. Like the vampire becomes the hunted. Like the girl is like, you know what? I actually like you and I'm gonna pursue you. And the vampire is like, I just want your blood. Like, what is this? And there, there's a few trigger warnings in this one as well, because like the girl is kind of oh, a tad bit forceful. Not like, not like to the point of assault, but more so to the point of you basically, I let you drink my blood. You're going to let me kiss you. You're going to let me do what I want. And now the girl's like, no, I'm, I just want to drink blood. I don't want the other stuff. And eventually they kind of come around to it. It's kind of toxic, but it's not awful. It's not like to the point where it's like abuse or anything in that area. It's more so kind of good fun. It was just the way it was written was just like so fun to read. And there were some cringy moments here and there. I'm not going to lie, but it wasn't enough to make me like want to quit reading it. Quite the contrary, I actually wanted to read more and find out if this character was going to continue to be selfish or continue to try to be forceful. I mean, think about it. You're immortal trying to be forceful with the vampire and the vampire is actually very powerful. It's that there's the comedy where the girl is like, I could crush you, but I don't want to. But stop. You know, it's 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 cute, too. It's a very adorable story. It's not wholesome at all, but it, the three words that I can give for vampires would be fun, funny, and interesting. Like there's a little bit of lore going on in the background, keeping you kind of like the carrot on a string, or stringing you along, pulling you along. And you're like, I keep getting close to these answers, but not quite, like it just doesn't quite make sense. So it, I thought it was going to be wrapped up in three volumes and lo and behold, there's going to be a volume four. I think volume four already came out this week or it comes out next week. So with the manhwa and this manga of vampires, I was excited to read them because I thought I could just knock them out pretty quickly. Come to find out, they're like nowhere near done. I think vampires is going to be 12 volumes or 10 volumes, 10 tokobans. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure the answer is on Google somewhere. But yeah, it's definitely longer than three volumes and it's it's fun. I'm absolutely gonna finish it. Blood Blade? No. Trash. Did not like this. This can go in the waste. Bloody Sweet? This was a good time. Didn't start off that strong. But by volume two, it was definitely solid for sure. Like this is a tier list. Vampires would be an A tier. Bloody Sweet would be a B tier. And Blood Blade would be a D tier. Like, it's not the worst thing that I read, but between the art and the dry dialogue, it just, it was a snore fest. Like, I, I was, I can't say I was bored, but I was like, just in a rush to get through it. Like, I could have been doing anything better with my time or reading anything else, but 
And it, for some reason, the way that it was written, it doesn't have that much dialogue, but it still took me forever to read it. Like it was just dragging by. And I think it was because it struggled so hard to hold my attention. I kept putting it down. When I was reading Vampires, I couldn't put it down. That's how I know I'm reading something good because, oh, I should have been asleep a half hour ago. I'm still reading. Blood Blade put me to sleep early. That's the juxtaposition, that's the difference. Bloody Sweet, that one, it took a long time to read, but these are, you know, full color, kind of thick boys. Like they don't seem, they're deceivingly thick. There's a lot of content in each volume when it comes to manhua. And those are the three things that I read this month. Um, it was a good month, mostly for anime figures. Like I, I picked up quite a few scales. I've been slacking on manga, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna catch up. I'm behind on so many series, and um, I let manga take a back seat. But it's gonna get back up in the front seat for a second because these anime figures are expensive. And I have most of my favorite characters. I have to actually think hard on any characters that I really want in my collection. And a lot of times the scale figures that I've been buying have been compliments to the figures that I already have. So I have like Nana Osaki and I wasn't gonna get Hachi, but I thought about it. I'm like, no, Nana needs her best friend. Both the Nanas need to be together for sure. I like Osaki more because she's like punk rock, she's badass, and she knows what she wants and she's just gonna full speed ahead towards its tunnel vision. Nothing's gonna stop me, not even romance. And she's willing to sacrifice to get the things that was important to her and that was being a rock star. But Hachi, I didn't like her as much, but I think if I rewatch it, which I will, I think I'll grow to appreciate Hashi because she is the textbook definition of hopeless romantic. So I want to I want to give it another shot. I think instead of watching it, though, I'm going to read it because we got 21 volumes of it to get through. And it's been on hiatus for quite a while, but might as well start it. So that was a rant. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. If you haven't already and you like what you hear, you like what you see, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Next video, I don't know what it's going to be about. Maybe I'll do some anime figures. Maybe I'll talk about something I love filled. I don't know. But stay tuned and find out. Peace.